Good morning, all of you. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, am I properly audible to you all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. So, anyone have any confusion regarding this, your um, portion for your first internal? Because this is a first examination. Hello. Yeah, hello. 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 Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I am saying that anyone is having any problem regarding the portion what is in your first internal examination. Ma'am, what type of question will come? You will get MCQ based questions, okay? 10 questions of one marks and five questions of two marks. So total marks is 20. And it will be a multiple choice question. And the portion for you people is already told that noun pronoun agreement, subject verb agreement, synonyms, antonyms, prepositions, phrase clause, proper use of punctuation. All those things. Those who have attended the class sincerely, those who have understand those things, I think they will definitely score very good. Um, those who have not, then there is no option for them because there are certain words, certain sentences we just have to do uh, correct and choose the options the phrase clause portion and all those things because mainly those things which are discussed in the class, all those questions will come. And those people, anyone is not enrolled in the LMS, please tell me because question is already being uploaded in the LMS portal. If you are not enrolled, then at that time, please don't tell me. 
because this is the first exam in the first half hai na from from 11 15 you have got the routine the schedule which day which uh, examination you are having so now any confusion regarding of the portion what is the portion because someone has asked me in the class i mean in whatsapp i have told you please attend the class i will discuss over there so any confusion anyone is it clear yes or no hello okay now please give your attendance in the qr lms because i have already given please all of you mark your attendance okay and i am sharing the screen with you today we will study our written density what do you mean anyone has any idea what is the meaning of written density anyone see what is written density usually involves repeating something or adding in information that is completely unnecessary the heat is coming from the hot stove the heat coming from the hot stove so can you say what is the written density over here heat and hot hot hmm? heat and hot okay heat and hot now the sentence is already stating that there is heat coming from the stove so there is no reason for the person to restate that the stove is hot okay when i to if i tell you people any thing that sun is hot you people already know that sun is always hot is there any kind of uh, new thing any kind of meaning such thing can any kind of meaning any example you can give Merge. The ice is cold. The ice is cold. Dark is round. Hmm. The earth is round, ma'am. Okay. I say, please merge all the file together. is my answer is correct please merge all the files together merge means what is the meaning of merge what is the meaning yeah, of merge combine to combine yes ma'am together means also combine yes so now advance warning or notice to notify someone or warn them is already telling them something before the event occurs it is reducing to attach the word advance and one more thing i am saying you people that in the second session i will discuss some of the questions how you will get in your examination this is the qr code for your first session and for the another session another qr code will be provided okay so my request is all of you give your attendance after that don't say that not working next to keep writing clear and effective it is important to avoid redundancy or unnecessary repetition So can we say redundancy and unnecessary repetition both are same thing? Can we relate yes, this thing? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We can relate. 
If I say, suppose any of the words that you can say as a redundancy. Confused. Is in confused state. Is it correct? He is in confused state. Is there is any redundancy? No, ma'am. Hmm? Why? Confused state. He is already in confused. So is it right to say? He is in confused state of mind. When he is confused, that means he is confused. Okay. So state will not be used. You can see he is confused. Not he is confused state. The most uh, thing we use, this is a current trend of fashion. This is a current trend of fashion. Trend means what? Recent. Trend means recent. Current means also recent. Yes or no? See, current and train, both are synonyms. So both things we cannot use, na? like that combine, together, merge. This both are synonyms, they are having the same meaning. There is no other meaning. You people have read the synonyms, na? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, you have read the synonyms. So why are you getting confused? No, to keep writing clear and effective, it is important to avoid redundancy or unnecessary repetition. See, this is a very important line. This is a very important line. That's why it is given as a note. That to avoid to avoid redundancy, unnecessary repetition. Okay. This is a very important. Please remember this thing because in the second ex ex internal examination, you can get these types of questions. So when I am saying something in the class, please pay attention because question will be asked in that way only. Reluctant statements examples. All I want in the end result that matters. All the want, all I want is the result that matters. End result and result. End means what? Last result means the last outcome. So, in statements, how we are doing these types of mistakes? There is no need. In life, have you ever seen the result come at first? No. When you give your examination, result comes at the end. So, there is no need to write this end result. <coughs> Excuse I'm me. Having used the final result? Final means what? In the sense, final result means what? Can you say what is the meaning of final? I mean, so what is the synonym for this final? Final means also last. Last, ma'am. Final means also last. And is there any difference? So that's no, why one by one I am proceeding with you people. See, first I have come with you people with the synonyms. After that, I have come with you with the antonyms. After this, this noun pronoun agreement, this articles, 
articles are also coming in your examinations okay till now what i have taught you till now means not of today before class the last class i think was of 15 okay all things are coming all the topics are covering in your examination okay next one see did you notice that we both are wearing the exact same color suit what is the meaning see it means to look did you notice that means also look yes is there any difference in see and notice no ma'am no why synonym of c synonym of c look ma'am look notice watch 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 what you can't say na because uh, watch in the sense it is a verb we are looking at something we are looking at something verb watch means to observe something i am watching you that means i am observing you okay so see and watch is different thing watch means to look at someone or to follow someone ma'am view view is to watch view is for watch only okay so for c we can say notice the most uh, easy thing and the glimpses glimpses can you say anyone of the what is the meaning of this glimpses and this small moment notice small moment i will not say partial partial it is not a small moment and the partial view not uh, you can say so where we use this word and what is the opposite opposite of glimpses opposite of glimpses observation observation many other word it can be also that observation is there we use uh, have you heard this word p w e r peer p w e r peer Yes, ma'am. Huh? What yes, is the meaning of peer? Senior. No. Suppose we are saying that peer person. Close, close friend, and like that. no peer means equally you and uh, shishir and kanaiya at peer student that means shishir and kanaiya both are peer students what does it means means you have the same batchmates you belong from the same college you both studies in the same college you both study in the same branch basically it is um, we say a peer person 
Some like peer pressure, we say now. Yeah, that way. Peer person. We say a peer person. They are peer students. That means that person is of same age, of same grade, that is of a status. In your time, you are studying in the same batch, same, same. You are the, now the teenagers. These are the meaning of peer, okay? Peer to peer, sometimes we say, no? Sometimes we say peer to peer. Peer to peer meaning P W -E R. Peer to peer meaning was. In computer, basically, we use this language peer to peer. CSE student, any one of you, please tell me. What is the meaning of peer to peer? My main to end connection. Yes. To share the resources, huh? We say a P2P, capital P2P. That means basically that which shares the power network bandwidth, all these things. There's all kinds of computing resources. Got it? See how synonyms and antonyms are coming to your this all sentences. At present time. At present time. Now here. At present time. What do you mean by at present time? Now you can say me present. Synonym of present. What do you mean by the synonym of present? Tell me. And can we say available? Available how? Present means what? Recent? Hmm? Current. Now, ma'am. What we can say present? Um, current. Current. And? Now. If I say what is the present status of your attendance? That means, what does it mean? What is current the status. current status? Or your present day attendance is still now. Your existing attendance. What your is attendance is existing <laughs> and time. And what is the synonym of this time? What is the synonym of time? What does time represent? Hour, minute, second, what? It represents the hours, the minutes, the second. Huh? That is not. No. Next thing. At present time, I am in a difficult dilemma. What do you mean by dilemma? I am in a difficult dilemma. What do you mean by this one? Ma'am, confusion. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Confusion. Confusion. And other than that, any other thing? Ma'am, situation. Situation. Okay, other than this? Doubt. Doubt. Okay. I am in a difficult dilemma. In this sentence, what it will be the perfect thing? Difficult. Difficult dilemma. It's difficulty. See, the meaning of difficult and difficulty both are same. Dalima means one synonym of dalima is difficulty also. Okay. Dalima means difficulty 
also. And I don't know how to make definite final. Definite and final means, what is the synonym of definite we can say? And final. Definite decision and final decision. What do you mean by that? No, definite means exact. Difficult mean? Definite? Mean, mean and exact. And final decision mean? Final and end. Final also end. Definite means? The last decision, the last decision we can say. Yes or no? Can we yes, say something? Huh? Yes, plan something which it works from right now or ahead I have to. If I have to work ahead, first I have to plan anything. Huh? Plan ahead. What does it mean? Plan. Synonym for plan and synonym for ahead. Please give me. Some synonym of plan. Please give me the synonym of plan. What was the synonym for plan? Man schedule. Schedule and eh? Plan and oh, ahead. Yes. Plan synonym and ahead synonym, how you will relate in this meaning? Plan and ahead. Select a uh, proper word for these things which will describe. Ahead means what? Front man. Man, move forward. Then proceed. Suppose one minute, one minute. Ahead means it's something coming. that will be in your future. Anna? It is not in present, no? It will be in your future. And plan means what? That thing yes. for making for your future, no? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So how you will say now? What it? Plan and a hit. Both things are for the future only. Now, if you plan something that is also for your future, that is a hit means that will move for the future. You are currently not working, no? These things are for your future. Both things are for your future, definite and final, present time, current time. Is in a current. What is the current situation of that place? What is the present situation? Okay, try to use these types of words. Can you share your pin number, please? This is the most common error in our life we speak. What is the full form of PIN? Yeah, what is the full form of PIN? Postal identification number. Postal identification or postal index? Please tell me. Index, ma'am. Postal index number. Index woman. Please tell me how many of you, please. I am giving you some time. What man? Hmm? Ma'am, postal index number. No, please tell me what is the full form of PIN now? P I N PIN. Postal index number. Okay. If I say that no, it is not postal index number. Ma'am, personal identification number. Personal identification number.
so both are correct okay both are correct but our question is over here is what pin number pin number when it is already this n is denoting this number is it correct to write this number no but when we speak we say na please give your pin number we say or not yes ma'am yes yes ma'am but it is not because correct. if we will not use number then it is can you say a pin this is not always but it is a wrong sometimes you will get a question which one is the correct a b c d if i give you four statements can you share your pin number can you share your pin number it is all in alphabets i say give you all in small letter the meaning will change that pin what do you say if these things will be in small letter this pin then at that time what you will say needle man needle but please from the next time don't say please give you pin because from your sentence they can identify na for what you are asking for if you are in a bank if you are in a postal address you are doing some kinds of courier definitely do, you will not ask for any kind of needle you will ask for that code ha na now the morning sunrise was early today morning sunrise when the sun rises when the sun rises if i say the morning, morning sun yeah what if i say the morning sunset was very late today do my sentence is correct no ma'am no ma'am why no ma'am why because sunset in evening sunset is evening ma'am evening if i again here say the morning sunrise comma was very early today see here i have not given this full stop okay then my sentence will be correct then my sentence will be correct no ma'am why because ma'am if if, uh, if we say sunrise then there is no meaning of morning sunrise is always no, in the no, morning no no i am using some punctuation if i using this punctuation here this is a comma i am saying okay here is a comma the morning sunrise was very early today do my sentence is correct at that time where we use comma where we use comma excuse me where we use comma say this punctuation is coming to you in your examination where we use to separate independent clauses to separate independent clauses some items when there are more than two items the sentence is complete the sentence is complete then why we will use comma no we cannot use this comma okay now next time coming some common examples of reductant phrases small in size or large in size small in size or large in size small and large what it denotes does it denote size yes true facts facts are always true is true. there any facts that are false no no basic fundamentals fundamentals means basic things it is also basic yeah past history past means that already has passed that is history. smile if i smile and i cry will this sentence will justify 
Can any person smile and cry at a time? No. If I smile, that means I am happy. Yes, sir. Ev evolve over time. What does the meaning by evolve? What is the meaning of evolve? Grow, what is grow, grow. Hmm? develop, ma'am? What develop? What develop? Can you make any science evolution you have studied in science? What do you mean evolution? That means something going gradually. Not at a time those things are going. They are going gradually. Conscious of opinion. What do you mean by conscientious? What do you mean by conscientious of opinion? What do you mean by this word? What do you mean? What do you mean by this word? What do you mean by this word? Hmm? Any one of you? What does it mean, consciousness? Any kind of agreement? Opinions, gathering the different opinions. Please see this word in the second session. I will ask you people. Now, adverbs are often the source of exterior reductions, and writers should be careful not to overuse them. If you notice that your writing includes an inordinate amount of ly adverbs, then you might need to examine your documents more closely. Here are some other examples of unnecessary ly adverbs. Same reductantly, we can see ly adverbs mostly. And now, are you sitting with your notebook and pen? You people, are you sitting? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, then very good. See, you have to make sentences, one one sentences from these words. One is you shouted, another is loud. Both means same? If wrong, is it same or different? The meaning? Same, ma'am. Same, ma'am. Different, ma different. Different. Same. same meaning. If I shout with you, then my voice will be louder or my voice Loud. will be very sweet? Loudly. Ma'am, it is louder. He shouted at me loudly. It is general that anyone who will shout their voice will be louder. Hana? Any confusion? Any confusion? Anyone? This is still now what I have taught you. Are you having any problem? Yes or no? That one you can see me. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. So your homework is that you have to make sentences from these words. Okay. So how many number of words are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12. 19, 12. You have to make 12 sentences without changing the tense. What the word? You have to make sentences from that one. You will not change the tense form. Okay, understood? Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and you will just complete it by today, okay? By today, you just submit it.